Yes, it's okay. Let me introduce you. Uh, our speaker is attending from the Algeria. Now he, she is given presentation entitled by a differential inclusion of second order and application to control. Now microphone with you. If you are ready, you can start. Yeah. First of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee for offering us the chance to uh, participate to this wonderful meeting. The uh, participants, uh, thank you for joining me. I'm uh, Mrs. Sumia Saidi from University of Zizel. It's a pleasure to me to contribute with a moral talk entitled a Differential Inclusion of Second Order and Application to Control. Let's start with a brief introduction. Recently, considerable attention has been given to the existence of optimal solutions to control problems subject to differential inclusions. Optimization and discrete approximation of sweeping processes with controlled moving sets and perturbations have been investigated in the scientific literature. We refer to, uh, for example, these uh, references. In line of the recent paper published in 2016 dealing with controlled maximal monotone operators, the current work is a new contribution on this topic. We use the following notation, A for an interval of R, H a real separable impact space, BH the closed unit well of H, CAH the space of continuous functions from A to H, L2AH the space of square integrable functions from A to H, W12 is the space of absolutely continuous functions from A to H with derivative in L2. And we denote by A0TX the element of minimal norm of the operator ATX. Uh, we deal with uh, the pseudo distance between uh, two maximum monotone operators A and B, introduced by Vladimirov in 1991, uh, defined as follows and satisfying these properties. We need the following limits proved by Kunz and Montero Marquez in 1997. These limits involve the elements of minimum norm of a maximum monotone operators and also uh, different modes of convergence. Uh, also the pseudo distance between maximum monotone operators as below. In our study, we need also the following lemma proved in uh, the paper recently published by these authors. If we consider a time and state dependent maximum monotone operator that satisfies a condition uh, H1, that involve the pseudo distance between maximum monotone operators. We say that the operator varies in an absolutely continuous way in time and in a Lipschitz continuous way with respect to state. Uh, in this condition, uh, in this condition, we consider uh, an estimate involving the elements of minimum norm. Then. For any x in the space W12, there is a unique absolutely continuous solution to the first order differential inclusion governed by time and state dependent maximum monotone operator with initial condition in the domain of the operator such that the velocity drives this estimate, where beta dot, of course, is in L2. That is, it is square integrable. Following some arguments used in the proof of Fionn and Fionn in the recent paper by uh, the author Saidi, uh, published in EECT, the journal, we are able to prove the existence and uh, uniqueness of the solution to the second order differential inclusion involving time and state dependent maximal monotone operator with a single value perturbation that acts as uh, an external forces 
uh, with initial conditions u0 and x0 as follows. So our first theorem is uh, the following. If we assume that the operator ATY is a maximal monotone operator that varies in an absolutely continuous way in time and in ellipsis continuous way in state that involves and uh, the element of minimal norm yeah, as in condition H2 that satisfies a bulk compactness assumption. Then if we consider a single volume perturbation, which is measurable in time and continuous with respect to its second and third variables, and such that uh, this estimates holds true, we impose also a local Lipschitz condition on bounded sets as below. Then for any V in W12, the second order differential inclusion admits at least one solution. And we have this estimate of the velocity U dot. Now we move to a state our main theorem concerning con control theory. Assume that the, the time and state dependent uh, maximal monotone operators override the uh, assumptions H1, H2, H3. Uh, if we consider F that satisfies the, the conditions above, if we consider a cross-functional, which is measurable, lower semi-continuous for each T and convex with respect to its third variable, then uh, the set V of control defined by the function V in W12 such that the velocity is square integrable. Then the problem that uh, consists of minimizing this integral functional on the set V has an optimal solution where XV is the unique absolutely continuous solution to the second for, uh, first order problem with single valued perturbation. Now we prove that the set V is convex compact. So the, uh, first we observe that the mappings in V are equally continuous. Then, then the images belong to a convex compact valued and integrably bounded set valued map so that uh, the images are relatively compact. It remains to use Ascoli's theorem to deduce that this set is uh, relatively uh, compact, then to prove the, that V is uh, closed, which means uh, finally that the set is uh, compact in the Banach space C0TH. Now we begin our proof concerning control. In view of uh, our first theorem concerning the existence and uniqueness of uh, this problem, that is a unique solution denoted XV to this problem. And that satisfies this estimate. Let V and B a minimizing sequence of the problem, uh, our problem five, that is the limit equals V in on uh, V of this integral functional. Suppose that Vn uniformly converges to V in the compact set and denotes by Xv the corresponding unique solution to this uh, approximative problem, which uh, uh, satisfies this estimate. Then we observe that there is a map such that we have the pointwise convergence of sequence to X uh, the pointwise convergence to uh, the sequence of the velocities to x dot, and we have this weak convergence in L2. Lo using the lower semi-continuity uh, theorem uh, pub um, published in the book, in this book, applied to the lower semi-continuous convex integral functional associated with G, 
we deduce that the limit amp of this uh, integral functional is greater or equal than this quantity. And it uh, remains to show that uh, this integral uh, quantity corresponds or coincides with the amp of this integral. That is, we are going to prove that x coincides with xv and uh, which uh, finishes the proof. For this purpose, we are to uh, to make uh, some computations. We uh, prove the pointwise convergence to uh, the perturbation in uh, such a uh, rhythm. And we have the boundness assumption that allow us to deduce the convergence in R2. Also, we invoke the pseudo distance between maximum monotone operators and use the limits uh, recalled above to check that this inclusion holds true. So we have to uh, to do some computations. We prove the weak convergence in uh, such a sense to um, to get finally that uh, the following differential inclusion holds true and x coincides with x v, which is the unique solution associated to uh, the control of this problem. From our main uh, results, we, uh, we easily deduce that the solution set to uh, the second order problem governed by time and state dependence maximum monotone operators with a single value perturbation is compact in the Banach space CAH. Uh, in our future research, we intend to investigate control problems by differential inclusions involving maximum monotone operators when the control acts in the perturbation. And um, here, uh, recall that here we, uh, the control acts as in the states, uh, acts in the state of the operator. In our future research, we, uh, we, uh, we may deal with the case when the control acts in the perturbation or in both the perturbation and uh, the state of the operator. We are inspired uh, in this work by uh, these uh, references dealing with optimal control of uh, the sweeping process and maximum monotone operator. Uh, we have used uh, these uh, references, the first one uh, dealing with uh, the pseudo distance and dependent limits. The second one using uh, the lower semi continuity uh, for integral functional. Uh, this uh, recent paper published in uh, mathematics, uh, we have uh, considered the lemma that ensures the existence uh, of the solution for the unperturbed uh, differential inclusion. And uh, is an interesting. Uh, paper uh, that um, deals with fractional order of evolution inclusion uh, coupled uh, with the time and state dependence maximum monotone operators. Uh, also, we refer the reader for uh, these uh, uh, recent papers uh, that consider uh, maximal monotone operators uh, with time and state uh, in the time and the state dependence case. Uh, the first one involves fractional, differ uh, fractional differential equations uh, with uh, differential inclusions. Uh, the second one deals with the second order by but using uh, an anti-monotone condition. And the third one uh, is um, about the second order uh, differential inclusion with a finite uh, memory. And uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.